please subscribe and like and comment to allow help share this content. Okay, I'm going to... Well, what happened there? That looks a little sparse. Okay. Commander. <laughs> yes, Commander. Huh. I'm going to try to turn this fleet the right direction. Launching alert vipers. Launching drones. <laughs> Deploying Marines. Deploying Marines. <sighs> Deploying Marines. Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Let's see what you got packed in these Cylon ships. Tell me. Uh, we got some stuff. Oh, I wasn't able to redistribute all our systems in time. Yeah, gives me two turns a lot. Also.
Oh, I didn't know the Medusa could launch munitions. Yeah. I I thought it just gave munitions to other ships. Nope. I did not know that. Learn something new every day here at Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Discord. Wherever we are. Okay, what am I doing here? Um, yeah, I okay, kept boosting my firewalls with that ship. Alright, let's try that again. Boost. Oh, I hit ready up by accident. Okay. Yeah, I've sent out some scorpion squads to uh, work on intercepting any enemy munitions. Okay. Yes, sir. I wonder how that's going to work out. Uh, they should be able to help out a bit. I'm on it, Commander. Would you like my fleet to hang back and my fighters come to support you, or...? Hey, you want to play this? Yeah, let's try that. Let's see if we can kill the fighters in a straight fight. All right. Uh, I'll reallocate my fighter squadrons over to your defender. Two. Also, just look at how many ships I've stuck onto this Medusa. <laughs> it's a web of electricity and laser wire thingies. <laughs> Wow. Oh, so they, it had a limit of six, but no, you could just stick it on as many as you want. <laughs> yeah, I have to show me how to do that. Okay. I think I I do believe it does decrease how much uh, bonus power they get from these, but you know. All right, the squadrons are almost in position to begin uh, intercepting munitions. Okay. Uh, so far, no guided missiles have been launched. My comment PCM isn't really uh, going to be doing much good at the moment. God, PCM. Firing out another PCM. God, PCMs are fun. Oh, hey, they fired off a virus mine. I don't see them deploying those very often. Oh, and war drivers. Yes, sir. Something different. Okay. Let's see if I can pick up a war driver with my guns of the Mercury. Yeah, I got my uh, Creatuses, Creatuses here to act as my uh, anti-fighter boats. Oh, that, that'll work. They're fairly good at shredding apart fighter squadrons when they're not being swarmed to death. <laughs> <laughs> I also like how the Hydra kind of looks like a very early version, like a very small early prototype of the uh, revival ship. Resurrection. Yeah, the resurrection ship. Yeah, we actually used it uh, in a drama as a resurrection ship. Makes sense. Fighter squadron should be uh, over to help you out in just a moment. Okay. The uh, two of the uh, two of the scorpion squadrons should be 
fairly directly in the path of majority of those, so they should help shoot some of them down. Yeah, uh, that should be also interesting to watch. Yeah, I didn't know that their main priorities were shooting down munitions. Though it probably doesn't help the fact that they're being shot at by enemy squadrons. Probably does not improve their efficiency much now. Yep, one of them just got downed. And the other one just went as well. Whoops. Can they get a straightest lock? My fighters are trying to shoot down the torpedoes that are attacking your troopers. <laughs> Guys, don't do that. We have flak. Don't worry about it. We will take care of it. Yes, Commander. Yeah, as long as the Jupiter doesn't move down, it's fine. Jupiter's moving up. Yeah. Enemy war driver squadron's getting close, though. Oh, and they brought some modern raiders as well. Yeah. Is this the same fleet we usually fight, or is... Well, Did you change the cost? This is new you changed the cost, yeah. Oh, I see it now. Took me a bit. Took a bit for my brain to function. Okay. Missiles incoming. Got quite the formation there. Marines. Jesus. The Christies get so much range when you dedicate them entirely to just shooting. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. He's shooting at fighters that are underneath your Jupiter. <laughs> he, is, he is a feisty boy. <laughs> yep. Imagine if you gave him the the uh, defender boost. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's hitting anything, but he's definitely trying. And they really don't want to use anything other than torpedoes, so these uh, Comet PCMs are kind of useless. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's fine. Got it. All right, fighters. Their fighters have gotten past his flak. Start actually shooting things.
All warships focus fire on the squadrons that are heading in our general direction. Because they are mean. And we don't like meanies. <laughs> we don't like the meanies. <laughs> Unless they're blue meanies. Deploying countermeasures. Got it. Commander, where'd they go? Oh, they are chasing. <laughs> the enemy fighters are chasing your force, Lestra. <laughs> yep. Got it. All I gotta do is figure out how to fly it through a flak field. I hate how the uh, Nemesis's and the uh, Creustus's have a, a minimum amount of distance that they can uh, not move in. <laughs> it's annoying. Because <laughs> it, it, it's been slowly having them drive out ahead of my fleet, <laughs> which isn't the plan. The slappy. Uh, I do believe we have somewhat won the air war. Okay, that's good. I'm going to start dispatching uh, my squadrons to go deal with those war drivers. Because they are just pounding your poor Jupiter with hacking. Yes, sir. 
silence and a virus and we're gonna send one back oh look at that oh also my uh my hydra is fixing up your celestra Got it. thank you <laughs> Coordinated reload, gentlemen. Hit them hard. Phobos inbound. Yeah, there's a pair of them bearing down on you. Also, why are your defenders over here? I don't know. I set them on a mission and they, they succeeded. They ended up over here now. They succeeded to a degree. And they've already taken out your Jupiter's armory. Well, that is rude. I shall have to fix it then. That was a cluster nuke. Yeah, they, I don't know what. Okay, I've lost all my left armor. Where did that get shot from? I don't know. It just it just popped out of frick, freaking nowhere. I assume that guy in the back there that we haven't identified yet. Yes, sir. My fire control just in time to hit if you want to bring your Jupiter Merc 2 closer, the Hydra can fix it. All right, don't we try and do that? I got no navigation right now, I have to fix that. I will say this fleet formation isn't going too fat, too bad, too far. So far, <laughs> words are eventually going to make sense. <laughs> Just look at the swarm of fighters we have. <laughs> look at all the little blue lights. Look at all the little blue flashy lights. Oh, another virus mine's been deployed. Somebody likes uh, these virus mines a lot. Yeah. I'm on it, Commander.
My swarm of boys have now been uh, ordered to defend your uh, Jupiter from hostile attacks. Oh, I forgot to move, move my fleet. Whoops. Oh, well. I'm, I'm sure they won't do anything stupid. <laughs> Probably. Man, the set is just going to town being like, I can hit him from here, boss. Don't worry. <laughs> He's opening up with his little deck guns. <laughs> Uh, the, the, this is very amusing to watch for me. Oh, good. Glad you're amused. You sound tired. Yeah, I'm a little tired. Stop hacking me, Phobos. It's great. One Phobos takes down my firewall, the other one fires a salvo of torpedoes at it. You're now in range of the Hydra. The Hydra is going to conduct its repairs. Uh, okay, it's good. Argos has reloaded its nuke. The one that we can see. <laughs> it has reloaded. <laughs> Be very wary. Oh, it's launched. Nuke is in the water. And that Jupiter is taking a pounding. Yep. Yes, sir. <clears throat> this is virus bait. Oh, the other Argos has launched a uh, missile missile as well. I'm on it, Commander.
may want to turn the Jupiter hard if you can. Which way? Uh, yeah. Flax back down to zero again. I got a PCM going on in the direction of the nuke. You just need to avoid running into it. Just try to get underneath the nemesises. Okay. Oh. Thank you for the renewed subscription, uh, Little Bill, for 22 months. Oh, 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 oh that's funny right there. <laughs> And here I was worried I was never going to get to use this Comet PCM. <laughs> I just hijacked their cluster nuke. <laughs> cool. It's mine now, John. <laughs> that was awesome. Awesome. Cool. I am surprised that Cerberus is still alive, considering how much firepower we are shooting in its general direction. I'm going to start hacking this poor servers. <laughs> Just so he dies faster. <laughs> oh, I already know I'm adorable. We do not need to go over this again. <laughs> <laughs> Also, for those of you that don't know, in the Discord, I have set a, re a reward for if we reach 500 followers. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> if you want to see what it is, go join the Discord. It's cursed. It's funny, but it's cursed, and I probably will regret this decision. But, uh, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. <laughs> this might be one of the only battles where we fight it and don't lose a single ship. Okay. At least I don't think we've lost any yet. The defenders have kind of just decided they don't want to be part of the battle anymore. <laughs> they, go? Oh, wow. they are all the way over there. <laughs> They're just like, nah, man, you got this. <laughs> And this Argos in the back here is now getting harassed by my entire fighter wing. <laughs> I will say, I really do love the design of the Cerberus compared to many of the other Cylon ships. It's a very nice looking ship. Very sleek, but very Cylon-esque. It's like you took the two design philosophies of the uh, base stars and shrunk it down into a smaller ship. Yeah. I'm on it, Commander. Set range finder. Okay, watch the Mercury charge and blast. 
Oh, there's a modern base star. Ha <laughs> Take that, you jerks. <laughs> I find it interesting that the Cylons can fix hull but not armor, whereas the Colonials can fix armor but not hull. It's a very interesting set of dynamics. Yes, it is. What do we got to keep? Okay, I'm sending my air wing after. Argos number two. I'm surprised the modern base star still has anything. It's loaded with mines still, but you know. And that poor Cerberus, he just got a face full of cluster nuclear munitions from his friend there. Because <laughs> I hijacked it, which gave me an achievement. Because <laughs> I rarely, if ever, used the Cylon. So I got the achievement for uh, successfully, uh, I either got it for successfully hacking the Cerberus or I got it for successfully hijacking someone's munitions. <laughs> one of the two it's it's always it's always nice to get new achievements actually i can just open up my thing uh successfully hack an opponent's ship with your nemesis or the war driver all right what's the last what i i know there's still one or two that i don't have uh let's see i don't have nuclear option Endeavor, Evolution, or by your command. Still need to win a battle with a custom Cylon fleet in a uh, multiplayer match. This is a multiplayer match? A PvP one. <laughs> I can fire those torpedoes. Yeah, those are safe to fire. Firing torpedoes on the modern battle star. I mean, not modern base star. The modern base star. He was still firing a bunch of virus mines, which your Mercury is about to fly straight into. <laughs> those defenders ever coming back to the war? <laughs> They're on their way back, yeah. Slowly but surely. They took a little trip, a little detour. Wanted to see the sights, you know. Disarm. Virus mine. Disarm. Virus mine. System repairs underway. I eliminated the virus mines.
I'm surprised this Argos is still kicking. Modern base stars always look so clean before they get shot in battle. Yes. All right, let's see. Let's shoot something with. Uh, okay. I got a lot of other Cylon ships are kind of dingy and dirty, like colonial vessels. And then the modern base stars just like, hey guys, I went to the car wash. <laughs> Fix navigation. Cutting through their fleet pretty nicely now.
The defenders aren't coming back anytime soon, are they? Yeah, I'm taking the long road back. On, They're on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> I got insurance policy to assure our survival. There's just virus mine pollution everywhere. <laughs> I'm working on that too. And the Medusa's range on these uh, TPAM is really long. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like how since you're colonial, I still get the colonial uh, radio fighter transmissions. Cool. He's nice. I do love the colonial ones. They're nice. Lots of fun little things. Oh, is the Phobos dead? No. Keep firing on it. <laughs> if it's not dead, keep shooting it. Oh yeah, I forgot the modern base stars have regenerative hull resin. Yep. That's why it's taking so much of a pounding. <laughs> and there it goes. Surprisingly enough, even the big capital ship guns on my uh, services aren't in range. Yep. So that's more because they're still part, partly dedicating a, a portion of their uh, 
system processing to the fighters. So the fighters operate smoothly and effectively. Gotta clear some more um, viruses. I think the only one left of any real annoyance is the one currently messing with your Jupiter. Yeah. Very lucky that Phobos isn't uh, taking pot shots at the uh, Jupiter with its torpedoes, or otherwise, uh, I don't dead. think your Jupiter would last very long. <laughs> We're engaging in a very slow pursuit. <laughs> Defender's going to try and head him off. <laughs> okay, yeah. Make sure he doesn't get away. Yes, sir. To the rescue, the defenders! Even though they really didn't do much this entire battle. <laughs> they just... <laughs> They've just been basically sitting outside of the combat zone. <laughs> you know, I don't think we lost a single squad. Well, I can't say we didn't lose a single squadron. We did lose all of my, uh, all of my, uh, anti-missile boys. But, you know, that's fine. <laughs> their, their sacrifices were for the cause. <laughs> What was that cause? Who knows? <laughs> the Navy or something messed it up somehow. Where the cause that will be debated for centuries. <laughs> where is oh, where, where's the enemy ships? Uh, there's one. Where? It's just menacing. It, it, it's over there by your defenders. <laughs> oh, you're kidding. No, not kidding. It's, it's the only one left. <laughs> he flew right past you. Okay, we'll go take care of And uh, my carriers are slowly chasing it. <laughs> and the fighters should honestly probably rip it apart. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> that was fun. That's a nice shot right there. This is a nice little battle here. It was fun. It was great to be part of your stream. It was fun playing with you, Mercury. Any uh, any last words you have for the uh, viewing audience before uh, before I end things after this recording's over? May of two thousand. Twenty-four, book three, logistics is going to end in an exciting, unpredictable ending at BattlestarMercury.com. I'll let you know they only heard half of that over the torpedo salvos because you're being very quiet again. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let's say just go to BattlestarMercury.com and, and follow up and see the end of the book three, which has been running for 49 weeks. Yeah, go check out uh, Mercury. He does some nice stuff. It, the uh, the link, well, the, his website's in the name of the title of the stream, but, you know, make Thank sure you. to go look at his stuff. He does some good stuff. Some Thank good you. stuffs. I like, I like how Some very good stuffs. stuffs. All the good stuffs. Okay. Make sure to look at it. All the good Battlestar-related stuffs. Thank you. You, so you want to fill a Battlestar, go, go look at his stuff. Okay. He's nice. 